They call this Calvin's water droplet battery. This is my version, of course. The uh, theory is as water flows through this pipe and into this can, it separates into water droplets right here on both sides. It's connected with one wire from this collector over to the can and from that collector over to this other can. Now I just pull these, these two plugs, the water will start dripping through the two cylinders and fall into the can. You'll see the water stream start to spread because of the static electricity buildup. It'll build up charge and eventually cause a spark between these two electrodes right here. And I'll show you that close up later. This one's a bit different. Um, like I say, it's my own design. Kind of worked out a flaw that uh, um, I was having before. Before the pressure of the water in here, you'd fill it up to a certain volume. The water would come out and as the pressure changes, the water stream would change. So the water droplet wouldn't break inside the collector. So I fixed that by coming up with this apparatus that converts the weight of the water as it falls into this can and converts it back up through these fishing lines onto this float on top which keeps, keeps it and holds it at the same pressure so the stream is always the same distance where the water drop breaks. So I'll show you, I'll fill this up and show you how it works. It's exactly two cans, equal cans of water. That way if I let it go it won't overflow. Notice it rise, because the float is displacing the water up here. Okay, fill that up. All the way up to the top. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Just got to make sure it's lined up in the center of the cylinder. Everything's straight and it should be fine. There it goes already. You can see the water bending already. I'll get some close ups so you can see it. But yeah, working with this for a while, I've seen it off of uh, YouTube. Professor Walter Luthen off his uh, physics lectures from MIT. Check it out. Very, very impressive. Um, he even says this is most remarkable. I think so too. But my apparatus here, see how, oh, it just snapped. You can hear it actually. There it goes just about now. Well, close enough. Oh, there it is. It just snapped. See how the stream turns straight? And then it starts to bend, and it snaps and goes straight. See that? There it is. But notice, like I said, the volume of water in here changes as the water drips out. The pressure, the weight of the water, doesn't because I transfer the water that's being collected in the cans back through the fishing line and onto the float, which keeps constant pressure here, which in turn keeps constant flow right here and the water droplet breaks right inside the collector where it's supposed to. It's the only way it can work. But you can hear it. Now it's going really good. It's snapping, snapping. And I'll show you some close-ups on it. I'm thinking on doing different testing. I'm going to put a coil here instead, see how that works. 
I'm thinking I'm putting a screen inside it to, to diffuse the water into more water droplets. It might make a difference. Um, but the pressure thing is the key. If you can figure out, rig up something that will convert the gravity or the uh, weight of the water back and displace it on the top of the water, yeah. That still stays the same height. So it's always a constant pressure coming out of those two holes. That is the key. So if you want to make this at home, keep that in mind. And you'll have a snap like this every five seconds. people on the net, uh, I did a lot of research on it, and they say you need really thick insulated wire and you need uh, obviously not to ground anything out. That's why I find the styrofoam helps for a good platform and the wires are regular 22 gauge, it doesn't matter. All you need is a conductor. It's pretty amazing, pretty remarkable, like Professor Walter Luthen says, truly remarkable. I'm getting wet. <laughs> Can you see it? There. <laughs> I'll just put the plugs back in. All you do, simply to start it over, you take the lead off, this lead off, and then lift these back up and pour them back in. And that's all you do. You can use the same water, it's just regular tap water. It can be hot or cold, I never tested hot, only the cold. Fill it back up. Notice the platform rise. Anyways, thanks for watching. You gotta try this at home. It really works. Okay, I'm just, there's no trickery, no batteries, no magnets, no nothing. This actually works. You have to try it just to see it for yourself. Coolest thing ever. <laughs>